Are you familiar with the concept of a golden goal in football? Yes. Or soccer? Yeah, when you go to extra time, first team to score, if they win, everybody goes home, makes some beans. Yes, in eats, Eng eats the beans. In England, the custom is to go home and make beans after a football match. That's correct. Uh, traditionally, that's true, except it was not true in the 1994 Caribbean Cup. They decided that a golden goal was going to be worth not one, but two goals. So you end the game, but then you also get two points rather than one point. Because why? Yeah, we're goals, playing but. Calvin Ball, whatever. Screw it. Yeah, you sure. win, it's fine, yeah. nothing matters. That's the thing, is like, you might as well just goals. make it 20. Yeah. The thing is, that would not normally be a problem, except in football, you're also dealing with a table. And the table also has a goal differential. Goal differential that can actually... Where it can yeah. like have some pretty serious ramifications okay. in terms of qualifiers. So, so that never came into play, but it's just a very interesting thing for us to know. Mm, not exactly. In this particular match, it's Barbados versus Granada. Okay. Granada sits at the top of the table, tied with Puerto Rico, and they have a three goal differential above Barbados. So Barbados needs to beat Granada by two goals to move on to the finals. Okay. In the 83rd minute, so roughly seven minutes to go, they're up two to one. Mm -hmm. But that's not enough right. to get them into the finals. So they remember this golden goal thing that we just discussed. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. That it would get them two goals. So they're thinking, well, we could score another goal and get it to 3-1, but with right. seven minutes left, that's looking a little dicey. It might just be easier. To play for the tie, to despite already having the lead. To play for the draw and take <sighs> it into extra time. Barbados, you magnificent Sneaky. bastard. Imagine the, ma the mental math you have to be doing right. in that scenario to know, oh wait, we could do this entire other strategy. Wait, was it a team thing? Like they went from trying to score, and or was it like a rogue? <laughs> I believe it was an organized thing because, and there's footage of this, what they just do for another minute or so is just dribble the ball back and forth between the goalie and one of the <laughs> one of the other team members, and then eventually just kick it in and so, score the own goal. So now they're thinking, okay, there's roughly three minutes left to go. We're tied. We're going to take it into extra time. But Granada... They caught on, right? The gears start turning for Granada. <laughs> now they're realizing what Barbados is up to. If we take it into extra time, they could They have a chance to knock us out. They have a chance to knock us out with one goal. Right. So what we need to do is either beat them by one goal, or we could still lose by one goal, which is not enough for them to advance to the finals. So Granada hits a point where the ball just has to go in either net. They have to go into either net. <laughs> now you have one team that is trying to score in either net and one team that is simultaneously defending <laughs> both, both nets, nets to keep the result <laughs> to take it into extra time. I like to picture that the team would just split up five on five form a wall in front of both goals. It seems like the and simplest thing to just lock arms and just create like two little horseshoes of people around each it goal. It doesn't sound that far off from like peewee soccer. It's of just a bunch of kids running around. It devolved very quickly. Please don't tell me Barbados wins. Barbados scores the golden goal and they win by two. And knocking out. Knocking out Granada and moving on in the finals. Well, you know what? Okay, I take it back. That's good. Good. Granada does not deserve If they couldn't score an own goal or That's, a normal goal. Sure, but they shouldn't have to be expected to score an own goal to I'm move just saying, on in the finals. Theoretically, if a team is defending both goals, they are able to pick a side and play 10 on 5 plus a keeper. Like they, like, yeah, if they, how? right, you're right. <laughs> they didn't win the tournament overall, but that doesn't matter because we're not talking about the champion of the 1994 Caribbean Cup, we're talking about Barbados. And so did the final score actually read? The final score was 4-2. Four 4-2. Four two. Two. Yep. And if you look at the score summary, there's three goals. <laughs> That's right, yeah. Two goals. Uh -huh. Who got bored and decided, I want to see a two-point goal? I don't know why they changed, why they made that rule going into this tournament. I don't know why it meant zero resistance. Like, I don't right. know why no one said, hey, that could potentially screw up point, di like, goal differentials. It's like there's one dude who got so far up in the ranks of FIFA and was like, finally I can fix the one thing wrong with this sport. <laughs> has this ever happened since? I don't believe that it has. I'm okay. pretty sure they got rid of it. Huh. Um, 
The Grenadian manager, to his credit, was pissed. Sure. He said, I feel cheated. Yeah. The person who came up with these rules must be a candidate for a madhouse. I have never seen this happen before. In football, you are supposed to score against the opponents to win, not for them. Yeah, but that's coming from the guy who couldn't coach his team to score on their own goal. Fool. Fool. Thanks for watching Weird Rules. Don't forget to subscribe to SB Nation and check out these other SB Nation videos where we will mispronounce the names of every other country in the world, starting with the United States of America.